In this video, we're going to learn how to do two UI changes. So we're going to go to our storyboard, and we're going to go ahead and add a button to our project. And we can go ahead and give this a title, something like Press Me. And we're going to go ahead and hook it up to our header file. So I'm going to make sure I hold down the Alt key and press ccviewcontrol.h. And instead of making this an action, we're actually going to make this an outlet because we're going to want to be able to change the title of our button as well as we're going to be able to hide it in just a minute uh, dynamically. So let's go ahead and drag our button in and we're not going to make this an action again. We're going to make this an outlet and we can call this something like my button. And now we have a property for our button on our storyboard. So we can go back to single view and go back to ccviewcontrol.m. At the bottom here, we're going to go ahead, and the first thing we want to do is we want to update the title from press me to something else. So I'm going to go ahead and do a method call here. We're going to say self dot my button set title, and we're going to change the title to button pressed, and we're going to change the control state. Now there's a bunch of different types of control state, but the one we're going to be using is UI control state normal. There's things like UI control state selected or highlighted, um, but UI control state normal is a good one because it allows us to just set up the title of our button and we don't have to worry about its different states for now. So this is the way we're going to be able to change the title of our button. Let's go ahead and run our application and we can confirm that this change has occurred. And we see here now, oh, well, it's a little bit small, so we can go back to our storyboard quickly and enlarge our button so we can see the full title here. And let me just run it one more time so I can show you that the title has, in fact, updated. So button press is now our title. I can also dynamically hide our button. So let's go ahead and we can do um, self.mybutton.hidden. And hidden takes a property that's of type bool, so it's either yes or no. So I can say yes, and I can now hide my button, and my button no longer appears in my view. Now, if my button was hidden on my view, I could set its property hidden equal to no, and my button would appear again on my view. So buttons are pretty cool. We're able to change with its property both its title and whether or not it appears on the screen. Now, as a matter of fact, a lot of our view objects happen to have this hidden property, our labels, uh, our text fields. So try using the hidden property to try to hide your view objects dynamically in code. One other cool feature I want to show you about our UI view that we can do to make things a little bit more dynamic is we can add an alert view. So we can do UI alert view, and it's an object, so we'll give it a variable name, alert view. We can say UI alert view alloc, and just like we did with array, we're going to use a custom initializer. So we're going to scroll down to initialize with title or init with title, and we're going to say our title is going to be alert, and we can give it a message: you triggered the alert. And it can take a delegate, but we're not going to worry about that for now. So we'll just set this equal to nil, and nil literally means nothing. So we're not going to use a delegate for this one. And we need a cancel button title, so we can do cancel. And we're not going to have any other buttons. We could have additional buttons on our alert view. But we're going to only have the one. And we just have to make our alert view show. So we're going to do alert view show. And now when I run my application, we'll see an alert view. Alert, you've triggered the alert. We can press the cancel button, and now we'll be able to use our application again. So this is just two lines of code where you're able to get that alert come up. And I'm sure you've seen that if you've used iPhone applications before when you've done something that's triggered an error inside of your application.